So on a video I made probably like a year ago now, I have received a few comments that asked if I could share how to remove the pre-installed programs such as programs like the 3D Builder or like the Get Office or Get Started applications there, Groove Music as well, through something uh, called PowerShell. You can right-click your start or click your start and search PowerShell. Right-click on PowerShell, run as administrator. That's important if you want to reinstall any of these. You will need to uh, do this as admin. You do not have to run as admin to remove them. It will not prevent you from removing them. I had this website geared up and ready to go. It's uh, How To Geek. It's the website that I use for this PowerShell tutorial. Just because of the simple fact that they have windows and bubbles that you can copy and paste. And it also has instructions and the code on as to how to reinstall these apps or programs if you choose that you no longer want them. So what you do here is you would copy the code for the program there that you do not want on your computer and then paste it into the PowerShell window and press enter or return. If you get a green bubble immediately after pressing enter or return, it has removed from your computer. If you do not get the green bubble or block around the PowerShell that you've just tried to remove, then that indicates that it was not on your computer uh, and there was nothing to remove. You'll see here with a couple of applications that I try to remove, I will not get that green box, so it indicates that it's just not on here anyway. Things like Windows Camera, some, some of you may want to keep. For me, I don't use that stuff, so uh, a couple of things like uh, those two there, Contact Support and Cortana, you can't remove anyway. Pretty much just listed, it can't be removed. The Skype app, I actually download the Skype uh, or downloaded Skype from the website and use the actual desktop application, uh, so that can be removed. The Get Started, I'm sure we're all familiar with Windows 10 at this point, so Get Started is just not necessary. This Zune music here will remove Groove music. It used to be called Zune music, uh, but it does get rid of the program Groove music. For Windows Maps, I pretty much will Google a map or pull it up on my phone if I need it. I, I will not use my computer for that. So can't remove Edge. You can remove the Solitaire collection if it is on your computer. That is something you can right-click from the Start menu and delete, but you can do it here as well. Bing Finance, don't really need that, I wouldn't think. I'm not sure what Zoom Video removes, but uh, I really don't need it. I've never used it, so I'll get rid of that as well. Do that at your own discretion. If you use it, then don't do it. Bing News, no, I'm not going to use Bing News. It was not even on my computer anyway. So uh, OneNote, if you use OneNote, don't get rid of it. Some people use it. I, I don't. People, I'm not sure what that is. I, that might uh, correlate to like the Windows Phone or something like that, but I, I don't use that. So, and Windows Phone, this is a uh, this is a desktop computer. So uh, if if you you definitely type that one in if you're using this on a computer. As you can see, that wasn't even on here anyway. So I think even Microsoft has removed that. Now I use the Photos application, so I'm going to leave that alone. And the Windows Store, I'm going to leave that alone because games are there. It's just the Windows Store. You don't want to get rid of that. Bing Sports, uh, not needed. Sound Recorder for me, not needed. I use Audacity, so I can go ahead and get rid of that. Bing Weather, same thing. I can pull it up in AccuWeather, pull it up on my phone, something like that. So that's, that's going to be gone as well. I can't remove feedback for some reason. I'm sure there's a way to remove it otherwise. But uh, the Xbox app, I have an Xbox One, so I am going to keep that application because I have found that it is pretty useful. So I'm just going to leave that alone. Now, if you find that you remove something that you didn't intend to remove, as, such as one of these items here, you can use this code here that they've listed on their website and just paste that. Now, I'm not going to hit enter or return on that because I've already removed all of these programs and I don't want them back. But you will get a green box here it will say about 25 items that are being installed back to your computer. But if you go through the list that we looked at before, we no longer have uh, the uh, Get Started. We no longer have the Office uh, 365. Uh, all that stuff is gone. 
Also, if you notice over to the right of my start menu, a lot of the live tiles are gone. A lot of the live tiles will either let you turn the live tile off or uninstall it directly from the live tile as well. I'll show you that in just a second here from their website as well. So what I want to do is talk about this website here, this howtogeek.com, this exact article. I'm going to leave this link in the description because props to them for making this article because it has really helped me out. I've actually used this for the, like, the last year or so since Windows 10 came out to get rid of that stuff that you, you just don't want showing like here in your start menu. Like I said, a lot of these live tiles, you can right click and uninstall as it shows in their picture on their website and get rid of it that way. But as you see mine, it's actually pretty empty because of using PowerShell to remove most of them anyway. But you can uninstall them just by right clicking them directly from the app in the start menu and then clicking uninstall. Some will say turn live tile off so that it's not running in the background. It's not going to save like heaps of RAM space or anything like that. It's not going to make your computer m that much faster, but programs like Solitaire, Groove Music, and things like that, if you don't need them, they shouldn't be on your computer anyway, and I'm a real big fan of just making the computer run essentially how I want it to. So it was just a simple, quick tutorial as to how to use PowerShell and what I use it for, and thanks for watching.